Hi, my name's Ray, and I'm here to tell you about the DJI Spark. This little bugger here, I got this on the 10th of July, and I've flown it three times since I got it on the 10th of July. As soon as I put the update on, uh, as soon as it took off, it went to 100 feet, and then flipped over. And as you know, when it flips over, the, the engine cuts out. All the way down, smashed to pieces. It took me three days to get in touch with... Um, DJI and all the messing around with that and confusion and then it took them three days to send me a ticket out for UPS uh, to pick it up while I was in the States. Uh, they sent it back to me with a brand new one and then when I decided to put the, I've got six batteries you know, all in order of course and not one of them worked, not one of them worked, it wouldn't do the update or oh, and I tried everything what I could, I watched all YouTube episodes and not I could do what other people got away with. DJI a pain in the ass. Eventually I, I spent about four nights talking to different ones and on Saturday night I was on the phone for four and a half hours. Now these batteries here, I got them in different places, these are genuine DJI batteries. I got them in uh, three different places and in two different countries, but they are DJI. One's American, obviously, one's in the UK, is where I'm from. And the problem what I had with it is uh, it just wouldn't update. No matter what I tried with this thing, it wouldn't update. And it blocked it, or I thought it blocked it. So I contacted DJI, and after four and a half hours, they said, uh, the hardware on the battery is no good, um, you'll have to send them all back. I said, it can't be the hardware on the battery. Why has it got to be the hardware on the battery when they're all six batteries? I didn't use some of them. So they said, no, no, the hardware on the battery is gone. So obviously I didn't say so go along with that. Then I got in touch with another guy um, last night. And he was going through with me you know, different things. And even then we couldn't get it going. Now, people have said, like, if you turn this off and then turn... Uh, put it in again, try it again, go through the app, and every time I went through the assistant app too, I got nothing, absolutely nothing. It wouldn't even register uh, this thing being connected to it. So, I just had this idea of, I took the SIM card out, SIM card, S uh, SD card. I took the SD card out of there, put it back in uh, to the assistant app, and it recognised it straight away. So I charged the battery and it didn't work. I spoke to the guy, because uh, I was still on the guy with DJI, he said, no, now you've done that, put the uh, SIM card back in and then try and connect it then uh, to the, with the remote, and that worked. So I've done that with every one of them. Uh, put them all in, no SIM card in, done the update on this, put the SIM card back in, and then put it on there. It worked. So... I'm a happy bunny now, so all these are all charged up and ready for me to go out. Thanks for watching, I hope this helps you in any. Sometimes you know you might need that, but if you do need it, don't listen to DJI. You know, just try and sort of take the SIM card or keep on trying. Bye bye for now.